Hello and welcome to another video from Double Rail. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at buffer stops. Um, we have uh, three types of um, buffer stop today. Um, we have uh, this one here, which is a uh, Pico rail type buffer stop. Uh, its product code is SL40. Um, we also have this uh, Hornby um, buffer stop, and this particular um, Hornby buffer stop is R083. And then uh, finally, we also have a um, sleeper built type uh, buffer stop from Pico, which is SL41. Now, the um, Hornby ones are made of a kind of a black plastic. Um, they're a slightly different style from the uh, Pico ones, and they're a little bit more expensive. Um, the Pico ones, I think, are about a pound each. Um, same goes for the SL41, uh, um, but the Hornby ones I think are a little bit more expensive. Um, and but the nice thing with the Hornby ones is you can buy them in a in a multi pack as well, which reduces the cost a little bit. Um, the Hornby ones uh, seem to be closer in style to ones that you see in um, kind of terminus stations and in. Uh, kind of larger um, railway stations while the uh, Pico ones seem to be uh, more geared towards what you might see in a siding and obviously the you have the older um, SL41 here which is the sleeper build type um, there are a couple of other uh, ones on the market um, a little bit more expensive, there's a couple of DCC based ones that have uh, built in lighting um, it's quite easy to add lighting to the uh, Hornby one uh, you can drill a small hole in the center of the uh, of the buffer stop here, and put a small, you know, two millimeter LED through that little hole, and then you have um, enough space down through the back here and down through here um, to kind of hide the wiring. If you use black wire, for example, and glue it in place, uh, you can make that wiring pretty much um, invisible um, to you know, unless it's under really close scrutiny. Um, the Pico one is a little harder to do. Um, there's a lot less um, plastic here in the center, but it's still possible to um, to, to get that done if you need to. Um, now the Pico one um, has this uh, small kind of uh, lamp at the top. Um, but what you can do is you can actually uh, cut that off, as you can see there. I just cut that off with a knife, and uh, it, it'll kind of be more prototypical, at least for a more modern. Um, sleeper. Now the Pico ones are this uh, made from this kind of brownish shiny plastic and the uh, Hornby ones are made from a more black kind of plastic so um, with the uh, with either of them I think for you know for, for the best results you're going to want to paint them. So um, there's a couple of different ways you can go. Um, the Pico ones over here um, I think you can get away with um, painting the uh, metal parts here on the side, either gray or black, and then um, painting this part either white or, or red. Um, if you're going for a more modern look, you could also paint them yellow. Um, what we're going to do is we've been looking at some pictures um, from a couple of different locations around the UK, um, including um, Exeter, and uh, I've got quite a few uh, decent pictures of this particular type. Of um, of buffer stop at the station in Exeter, and they're they're actually painted uh, kind of blackish gray for the lower part here, and then the buffer beam itself is painted um, red, but um, a section here of um, both of these buffers is painted black, and then the uh, lamp on top is also painted black. So um, we're gonna go with uh, with that particular route for for this. So towards the end of the video. I'll show you the end results for that. Um, you could also paint them white um, across here. The more modern ones, um, this whole section here would be white, and then optionally uh, this here and this here would be white. And the reason they were painted white or red was mainly um, for visibility. So if there was something behind um, the the buffer stop or something you know in the, in the horizon, uh, it was supposed to make them um, stand out a little bit better. So to, to paint them, um, which is what I'm going to do uh, here in a few minutes, um, I've got two types of paint. I've got a kind of a dark red color. Uh, unfortunately, here in the States, I wasn't able to pick up 
a uh, kind of pure matching red, but since I'm going to weather them anyway, I, I can make it look pretty much um, the shade it is in the, in the photo. I also have some uh, flat black paint as well, and these paints are enamel paints. Um, I'm also going to take um, this, which is kind of painted a brown color. It's got some, uh, looks like coal that goes on top there, and um, I'm going to paint this um, black as well. I'm going to leave this brown. Um, I may go over it with some brown paint, um, but this back section here I'm going to paint black and we'll glue it together and so on. Um, the Pico um, buffer stops actually come, I'll, I'll just disassemble it real quick for you, um, come in three parts like this, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just uh, put it through the hole like so. Um, oops, uh, make sure you have the lamp on the top, and then drop the other one in like so, and it just pushes together. Now, unfortunately, this kind of makes them a little bit flimsy. So, like when you're putting them into the um, into the rail, it, it's a bit tricky. Um, they, they keep wanting to fall apart. But um, once you get them in place and, and painted, it should be fine. I'd suggest not gluing them because um, if you glue them and you get the angle a little bit off, it's going to be a lot harder to get them into the track. Um, and then just to, to wrap up on that, I'm going to show you how I got it into the track because um, there's no real instructions with it. So you can see there how that goes into the track. You can see the uh, back ones clip onto the inside, the uh, middle ones clip across the rail, and the out inside ones uh, clip on the inside as well. And what they seem to do is the, the, the uh, two clips clip on the inside of the rail and the sleeper, and then the external part here um, clips onto the outside of the rail, and it gets a uh, pretty good adhesion once it's uh, in place. So um, I think once you've got it painted and put in place like that, um, it'll work pretty well. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'll show you the uh, other end of the Hornby one. And I'll put them side by side there, you can see uh, the difference between the, the two of them there. This is with the lamp and that's um, without the lamp. So I'm going to go and uh, get painting and uh, towards the end of the video we'll show you um, the, the end result. So on the sleeper built one, I'm just going to show you how to um, get these off. Uh, you basically hold like so, grab the piece you want to take off and if I can get that into the camera just twist it um, you will be left with a little bit and you can just uh, file that down uh, if you need to and like so and like so so um, what you're left with are uh, one, two, three, four, five, eight, we've got six pieces there and so um, we're going to go uh, glue those together and uh, we'll go from there and you can see here you can use a file or a knife to uh, break off any kind of excess pieces that are still attached. Okay, so uh, here you can see the end result. Um, We've got uh, the uh, coal uh, on the back here of the uh, sleeper type uh, buffer stop, and then we have the painted rail ones here. Um, what I did with this was um, after I glued it together, um, I took some uh, typical lock type super glue and I just uh, brushed it back and forth, and then I took some of the uh, medium ballast uh, cinders from uh, Woodland Scenics and I sprinkled that um, along the top I let that dry for a few minutes and then I took the um, Loctite Super Glue and just kind of poured it, I didn't use the brush, I just poured it starting at the top and kind of just worked its way down and used the brush to even it out and then I took um, some of the uh, Woodland Scenics um, coal, this is the Mine Run coal, it's slightly thinner and I uh, sprinkled that along the top and let that set and then um, basically we just painted it black and uh, 
As you can see there, it turned out um, pretty nicely. If I uh, pick it up, I can uh, sort of show you there that it turned out pretty nicely. Um, then we have the uh, rail type buffer stops. You can see there, it's uh, painted red. The uh, two black accents around the buffer stops, uh, like in our picture. And I did the same thing. Um, with two of them, I left the lamp on. And you can see there. Um, what I did was I actually painted it black, and um, sorry, I painted it red, and then I uh, put the uh, kind of little dot there. I uh, left that on there when I painted the black part so and you can see that technique works um, pretty well here's another one if I uh, bring it in pretty close you can I'm sure you can see the uh, red dot there and that was basically achieved just by painting the whole um, the whole lamp red letting it dry and then going back in with the black um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this you know, sit here for a few hours to dry then I'm going to go put it out on the layout and we'll take the weathering powders and use some some of the rust color on the side and probably some of the um, the black grime on the uh, red parts to just uh, dull it down some more a little bit and make it less glossy um, and that's it so uh, we'll show you a couple of shots of it on the layout with it weathered and I hope you enjoyed this video